Well, hello there, my friends. Welcome to another episode of Armored Brigade. Guys, this time we're going to be putting the Yugoslav army uh, on the pedestal and see how they do against an attacking American force. That's right. We're going to be attacked by the United States and try to fight them as Tito's army here. Now, we are in Finland, but we're going to use our imagination a little bit here and imagine that this would be something like Serbia um, or even, uh, you know, another area of the actual Balkans, uh, perhaps Bosnia. What we're going to do here is grab these guys, this HQ. I'm pulling everybody into the woods. Pretty much everybody anyway. Um, I will leave that area more or less undefended. Let me bring the MG squad as well. And I'm hoping that what's going to happen is they're going to come right through here in Sidenma. Uh, but they could, of course, also show up at the south. So what I want to do to make sure that I'm prepared for any eventuality is I'll go ahead and take one of these tanks. And I'm going to fast move him one, two. I know it's only one tank that we're sending over there, so quite risky, to be honest with you. Uh, this guy, I'm going to fast move with him over here. Eventually, we'll take a look at the actual uh, visuals here and see the, the LOS, I should say, and see if this area works, but I think it should. Put this guy right there. We've got two more tanks over here. And what I'm going to do with them, I kind of want them in this same general area, but I also want them to see the north. So I'm going to take these guys, and I am going to fast move right about here so hopefully they'll be able to get like you know sight lines on both areas i'm going to do the same with this unit right here the mech infantry squad so let's have them go ahead and fast move but i'm going to move them a little bit ahead of the tank uh, this way they'll take the hits first and hopefully we'll keep the americans from eyeing our beautiful tanks here uh, i'm going to do the same with these guys just going to grab them and fast move them over here in front of this town and we can also take a group and put them near Berlema, but I think for now we'll wait a bit. And we also have some air support here, uh, an L-14 and a J-21. I'm not sure we have any artillery, unfortunately, but hopefully our men will do well nonetheless. So here we go, my friends. We are beginning the battle itself. Let's hope that the Yugoslavs can hold off the Americans. It's going to be a tough fight, I believe, but I think maybe, just maybe, we can do it. First, let's get out of these damn woods. All right, it looks like we already have an enemy ground unit spotted. That was really fast, uh, but it's going to be all the way over here, a tracked vehicle. I'm just going to grab one of these scout teams and uh, fast move them over here. And I want to take a look at that LOS just to see... Yeah, pretty good. So, yeah, if we set up there, we're going to see anything coming out of Sidma. We just have to really hope that the enemy is going to take that central path, like I'm guessing. Uh, if not, this battle is going to be a total disaster for us. Be right back when the combat begins, boys. Missile on the way to that enemy ground unit, and it's a hit at that distance. I'm amazed that our boys were able to get an actual uh, target lock, but they've got one. They're firing another one there um, from that beautiful little IFV. What's going to happen? What's going to happen? She's on the way. The question is, can we actually get a kill this early on on one of these American tracked vehicles? I don't know. She's still traveling. I mean, how how awesome is that, guys? Here we go. Fingers crossed. That was a miss, although we definitely have eyes on target. Um, and let's just hope that more of these guys show up. I'm also starting to think, see, now our T-55 is taking fire. There's probably some artillery shots coming this way. It's got to be, right? Let's just keep those eyes and ears open, boys. I'm going to delete my waypoint there for the T-55. I didn't want him actually coming out this far. Um, I wanted him over here by Sidma. Let's put him out here, and hopefully he can get a good view on this area over here. And it would be also good to get some of these... Uh, scout teams into the woods in this area they're on the way but not quite there there we go once again spotting that enemy unit that tracked vehicle making itself pretty apparent to mighty yugoslav forces and we'll be firing a sagger anti-tank guided missile at it this might be an american guided missile if i'm not mistaken but i'm not sure it's going to be able to actually do anything at this distance now look at that oh my goodness we totally missed that 
although excellent shot there. We managed to destroy um, an enemy um, M80 IFV. We've got tanks as well as infantry on the way, and there we go. We did get a hit there on the enemy. Long range, man. The Yugoslavs did an amazing job. That's a that's an American tank right there we just wasted with an M80 IFV. So sorry, that wasn't the one I uh, I expected. Nonetheless, they've already gotten to that town. So we're sending our men that way. Um, I'll keep an eye over here in Objective 2. I'm kind of worried they're going to get past our men into Objective 2. And we're not even going to notice. So let's see if we can't make this happen a little quicker. Aren't you supposed to be moving? Yes, seven seconds. Seven seconds is so long, isn't it, guys? All right, I'm going to delete all waypoints here. I'm just going to keep my eyes open. I'd like to get one tank into the Sidma area. Got another tracked vehicle on the way. Looks like it's probably going to be another tank. Maybe we can push this T-55 uh, or these T-55s a little closer. But I just think being here by the woods is a much better idea in case we start getting hit really hard. For Tito, beautiful work, boys. All right, some of these guys are already spreading out a bit. I mean, one of them was able to take out a tank. Well, it was a tracked vehicle, but I can exaggerate just a little bit here. The accomplishments of our glorious Slavic soldiers here. Or Yugoslav soldiers, not Slavic. Shame on me. Here we go. Okay, we got eyes on that tracked vehicle. Come on. Which looks like standard 20 millimeter right now. Hope we got some more of those anti-tank guided missiles left. Yeah, I don't think that's going to do a damn thing to that vehicle. It's just bouncing right off. Um, we need to make sure that one of those missiles... You see that one right there? Got to make sure one of those missiles actually hits uh, these vehicles if we want to knock them out. <sighs> There's no way that's going to hit the first one. Nope. No way. Man, let's hope that our tanks can see this guy. I said I wouldn't move from this area, but you know what? I lied. I am going to fast move up a bit. See if I can't get an eye on the enemy there. And let's take a look. We, were st we still got some gunfire going on in this town. I don't see any of the other enemy vehicles uh, besides the one that we took out uh, right here. We've got the Praga. It's an AA gun. So maybe we should move this thing back a bit. I'm going to go ahead and fast move with the Praga behind the houses. And just hope that our infantry gets here soon. I was certain we had some tanks on the way. Okay, there we go. We do have some tanks on the way. So there's the uh, T-55. Let's go. These T-55s are damn fast, man, for a tank. I'm, I'm really impressed by the speed of the vehicle. I'm just going to delete all waypoints now, kind of keep them behind cover, because uh, I want to see what the enemy does, and then I'll decide what I'm going to do i also like to grab one of these mech infantry squads and move them over here. We've got virtually nobody in this area right here. So if the enemy was to push through, we wouldn't really know what the hell was going on. Look at that. We've got the troops moving up and everything. It's beautiful. All right, IFV's got eyes on something else. Well, it did there for a second. And actually, just destroyed an enemy scout team here. Uh, I didn't see how the hell it happened, but they are definitely somewhere in the area. So what I'll do is actually move this guy, fast move him out here. So if anybody shows up here, we'll see them instantly. There we go, eyes on target. Uh, that is a beautiful um, MBT M60A1 tank here. We've got two eyes on it. Let's hope one of them can actually take it out. We are quickly running out of those missiles, though. We've used quite a lot of the anti-tank missiles uh, on previous vehicles. Come on, baby. Oh, yeah, it was close. It was close. <sighs> close, but no cigar, unfortunately. <laughs> so this, the two actual turrets popping up next to the tank. Pretty unfortunate for us. Another miss there can't have misses like that. We just can't. Looks like we lost um, a T-55 there. 
There we go, baby. That's what I'm talking about. And it was killed by one of our T-55s as well. That's exactly the kind of uh, results we need to get if we want to come out of this with victory. So we're kind of in a swampy area here with our T-55. I think, I think it's going to work, though. If everything goes to plan, I, we're going to be just fine. Now, one thing I will do is take some of these scouts here and fast move them into the woods in front of objective two just to make sure the enemy's not doing anything ultra sneaky like going this way if there was multiplayer in this game that's definitely something people would do um, but i'm not sure it's going to happen here really nice shots boys all right guys we have got another target here Approaching from the woods, this is exactly where we wanted them to come through uh, from, and it's the M60A1, easy kill, easy kill for our tanks. I also stopped some of our infantry right there. We were going to move them over here to this group of houses, but I'm only going to let one of the actual G2s get there, and even that's a bit of a mistake. Um, I might try to put some of the infantry in these buildings, like the scout team, so let me grab the scout team and kind of put them over here. The enemy also, um, while we... Uh, sort of wait we uh, sort of uh, skipped some moments there the the enemy actually launched a nice missile attack in this area i didn't think it was going to be enough uh to really do much and luckily it didn't we actually ended up killing their tank here but it was fired over here at the t20 uh the t55 excuse me and right now we're once again just waiting for enemy targets um this town or this village i think more like a village is pretty much totally under our control uh, one thing I do want to do again is get every single one of these mech infantry squads into these buildings. As you can see, they do have um, laws, so the laws are absolutely capable of taking out armor targets. Oh boy, oh boy, we got we got some gun firing going on. We got a fight going, boys. Another enemy tank. If we could waste every single bit of the uh, American armor here in the beginning, that would be just absolutely amazing. Uh, I still don't see them concentrating their forces in any particular area, but let's just get eyes. Let's get eyes on target. Come on. All right, there we go. I think I think our t I think our leopard spots. Excuse me, our T55. We're not using leopards in this battle. I'm playing with the Italians too long. Here we go. Open fire. Stop the American invader. Oh boy, bad shot. Better shoot better than that. We could actually bring that other tank out. It looks like maybe the fields here are getting in our line of sight. There, that's a damaged tank. Got an enemy, another enemy ground unit. We'll take a look here in a second. I can't help myself, guys. You know how I am. And I think you are, too. You want to see this explosion. You want to see us get this hit. Oh, boy. They're close enough to use their machine gun. That is a problem. It looks like they'll start hitting our mech infantry. Now, our mech infantry do have some anti-tank weapons, but only if that baby is nice and close. Come on, guys. T-55 is immobilized. Bad news. This American tank is ruining our day. Now, of course, in this fictional scenario, uh, Americans would have much higher technological advantages here. But we did get the hit. Of course, in a ground war, I still think it would be brutal. Even if you look at... Um, Clinton's war against the Serbs, it was, you know, mostly fought from the air. Had that been fought uh, on the ground, I think there would have been serious problems. So sure enough, guys, now they're making their major assault. I think it's the right time to call in a CAS. Uh, not sure if we're going to get lucky enough to get it to drop soon or to get it to drop when there's actually enemies in the vicinity, but we're going to call it in anyway. CAS inbound. That's going to take four minutes, counted four minutes to get that baby to come through. So far, great shots. I think our tanks are in a perfect location here. We've kind of layered them so that they're not all on the same um, line, essentially. Some are more, you know, sort of farther ahead. Some are far behind. So in case one doesn't see the enemy target, the other one will. At least that's the thinking I had here when I played the battle or started the battle. The one thing we have that's a problem is the infantry squads taking such nasty hits here. I think it might be time to move that t-55 out although that's right he could be he's buttoning up i'm not sure if this is the one that was immobilized but i'm gonna fast move him forward fortito good shooting boys 
Hopefully when that cast does come in, they'll see something resembling an enemy target. All right, incoming enemy artillery. Oh my goodness, they're hitting the actual village, guys. What about war crimes? This is not right. They are hitting the actual village itself. Look at that. Looks like a cluster bomb, perhaps. Yeah, that's a hell of a hell of a bomb there. Even more enemy tanks showing up. Let's call in the rest of the air, air support. Now, Napalm's not going to do anything to the enemy tanks, but I'm hoping that if they've got tanks here, they're going to be bringing infantry uh, in this area as well. Also, it's a nice open area, so if we can actually, you know, manage our guys or manage these uh, planes to get in quickly, then I think we can do very well in this area here in terms of airstrikes. So far, though, our T-55 gunners are just nervous. They're sweating. Their fingers are dripping with sweat. They're missing a lot of these shots at distance, at range. And this is over 1.1 1, 1 .1 kilometers, essentially, is the distance of this target. So that one's even farther. We really need our T-55 gunners uh, to focus completely. Yes! Beautiful! Speak of the devil, man. Completely destroyed that vehicle. Let's see if there's anything going on in the south. Looks like just the continuous artillery barrage. Uh, hopefully nothing else for us to worry about. Now we've got one of our tanks here and I'm pushing him through this way. I don't know why he decided to go through the woods. We could have micromanaged that movement, but... C'est la vie. Okay, we've got enemy infantry moving through here. Pretty heavy fire on that enemy infantry. And now I kind of wish I had called the napalm in here. But let's accept what's been done and let's just try to keep on hitting that position. Got to be able to break it pretty soon. <clears throat> My goodness, there we go. T-55 in range. Stop him. Man, I really hope this T-55 can survive. <sighs> Hold on, mech infantry. You men are heroes. You are heroes to the Yugoslav nation. Absolutely wiped out that mech infantry unit. It looks like we got this IFV firing um, the 20mm M55 autocannon. No damage on that tank. Come on. Reload, reload. Oh, he got us. He got us, guys. I was worried about it. And sure enough, it happened. Now, we've got this T-55. This is our reserve tank. Uh, let's fast move him over here on the edge of the woods. Right there on the edge of the woods. About 15 seconds until we get that incoming air support, guys. Uh, I don't know how, how useful it's going to be, but we'll soon find out. Here we go. Cast incoming. Spotted enemy ground units to the south as well, but I'm not looking right now. No way. Oh, the cast did try to get a hit there. Doesn't look like they managed to get a kill, but nice attempt by our planes. I must give it to them. Really nice attempt. Oh, nice. Nice little shot there. Um, sadly, just not enough uh, to take them out. Just not going to happen. I'm even tempted to take this T-55 and move him on through here. Because we know that the enemy's there. Let's do it. Let's do it. What the hell? What are we, what are we waiting for? So let's fast move him right up that way because we should be able to see any enemy units that are moving into this location uh, because of this unit here the IFV so I feel pretty safe now what about the south so this is where we've been taking a lot of hits they've been hitting us with a lot of artillery trying to just completely destroy this area what have we got here enemy APCs enemy infantry squads they're definitely trying to sneak in um, to this area. So that's another reason we've got this squad lying in wait. The M57 team just lying in wait for the enemy. Could also move in the light MG team, but I think we'll, we'll hold on for now. There we go. APC destroyed. At the very least, they would abandon that APC. Got some incoming enemy artillery. Where is that going to happen? Once again, they are really going for the town. Uh, so I'm going to grab all this infantry. Yes, it seems crazy to 
rush into artillery. But I think by the way, by the the eh, by the time that the guys get here, that already attack is going to be over. So we're really just going to start moving guys to the south. Uh, let's grab a few of these as well and move them to the south too, because I just got caught glimpse right there near Perlama of potentially some enemy units a lot closer than we anticipated. Oh my goodness, there's our napalm. <laughs> there is our napalm, boys and girls. Sorry, I missed the explosions, but let's see if it does any damage to the actual enemy. Now, another thing I'd like to do is to drop a napalm strike somewhere over here. Uh, but we need to wait for the napalm to regroup. We're not going to get any more cast support, but we will... Um, get some napalm for those of you wondering why i keep saying cast support cast stands for close air support uh, so that's what we're obviously what would have been somewhat better because it can take out tanks uh, but the napalm can really damage enemy units once again here guys we've got a tank we've overlooked we're going to send him south to Petaluma. get him get him men get him he needs to be in the actual line of sight of our tank. Yep, we're going to move them even farther out, you bet. <clears throat> Could be a tank. Looks like somebody has just fired a heat-sinking missile at it. Oh, yes! Well, it was an enemy track vehicle. I don't think we'll ever find out specifically what it was, but a great shot there. Uh, despite being hit badly by artillery, our Yugoslav boys are fighting to the end. Oh my goodness. Right there, T-55, you should see something. Right there. This is why we moved you into this area. Man, please get him. Please get him. You're so damn close. Heat sinking missile got him before the T-55 could even react. <laughs> That's the IFV uh, missile there. Just beautiful. I think I'm staying put with that T-55. Let them make another mistake and show up in this area again. That's right, everybody open fire. Safety off, let them have it, boys. I love that dual action by the, uh, the armored vehicle and the infantry together. That is pure modern warfare right there. I wonder what else the Americans have to throw at us. If I'm looking at the field, like... We've definitely taken out a bunch of their vehicles up here, um, but it feels like they should have so many more men, and maybe they have dedicated all of those men to the south. That's certainly uh, possible. As we're moving into that location, we'll find out. As you can see, our boys are heading down south already. They've gotten orders, they've loaded their Kalashnikovs, and now they go to face the imperialist enemy. As always, guys, if you enjoy these Armored Brigade videos, make sure to help by hitting that like button and dropping a comment down below. It helps more than you can imagine to get the game known and also to get the channel known here on YouTube. Um, and also make sure to follow me on Twitch. Um, that's twitch.tv slash Maxenius for live videos. Yeah, I think most of the enemy is going to be down south here. We're going to be bringing a Praga ADA. This is an anti-air weapon to deal with enemy infantry. Don't tell the Geneva Convention here. Let's see if they can actually start getting some shots. Oh, never mind. Good shooting by infantry. They just completely wiped out the uh, Braga. It didn't explode. I think they just killed the driver. So really good shooting by the Americans there. We've heard stories about those Marines. Marine Corps snipers. I'd recommend a surrender. There we go. And that is an enemy troop destroyed. So we found a few more over here. Usually when you see three, that's going to be either a machine gun team or an anti-tank team. So it certainly could have been an anti-tank team we were just about to face there. We don't want them getting close to any of our vehicles. If they can get rid of a tank, they can easily get rid of an IFV. There we go. We just lost an IFV. How the hell did that happen? Man, it looks like napalm. I didn't see any um, anything saying that an air unit was coming in, but it certainly could have been that. And as soon as we get to the edge here, right there. 
I can actually move up just a little bit more. I'll scout forward just a bit. See, now the battlefield is pretty quiet. Not a lot of gunshots going on. I think the the enemy has decided that it's probably not a good idea to move through this location for an attack. Maybe not. Artillery. Once again, they know exactly where to strike, and it's right on top of our infantry. Keep your wits about you, Ben. Oh my goodness, look at that cluster bomb. It looks like right on top. Definitely killed a guy inside, killed one of the guys over here near the woods. The rest of the guys inside seem like they're okay. That could change, of course. That's just indirect fire. So again, just consistent artillery fire. It started a fire. The artillery fire has started a fire. We got to get the hell out of this building. Let's fast move out of here. Place is burning up. T-55 is taking some shots. I don't like that. I'm not seeing a damn thing. Could try to move the scouts up a bit. Come on, come on, T. Come on, keep your eyes open. Hopefully that indirect fire is finally over with, man. That has been horrifying for us. I'm not seeing absolutely anything ahead of us. No, that, that artillery fire is still coming in. Cluster bombs, napalm, they're throwing everything they've got at, at this group of uh, infantry. Good on them, actually. A really good uh, tactic. Aircraft ready. We can finally use that napalm again. Ooh, my, uh, my little eyes do spot some enemy activity here. So I'm going to actually put it up ahead, assuming the enemy's going to move up a bit. I'm do something like that think our tank may have spotted that enemy ground unit that's almost certainly an enemy tank and look at all that enemy armor out here and this is a turkey shoot if we can just not lose our tank here there's the t-55 come on come on kill the damn thing <coughs> missed need to shoot again also try to bring more uh, armor down south because i don't think they're going to push on the north anymore one of our mech infantry squads is retreating. We're taking some pretty serious fire there. There we go. Good shot. It's not a tank, but I'll take it. And let's hope that uh, our, our um, T-55 can spot that unit. Although, because of these two things in the way, maybe not. Maybe maybe that's not going to happen. All right. We bring him to the battlefield. They want to fight here. I'm more than willing to oblige. As for our other T-55s, you've done an amazing job, by the way. Uh, I think I'm just going to keep them here for now. Look at all that. Look at all that. So the enemy's definitely pushing on the south for the attack. Man, I wish that that napalm could drop a lot sooner. We've got mech infantry squad approaching. They should be able to help a little bit. Uh, we got this T-55. I'm going to fast move him out here. Man, you control the battlefield right now. We've got to make this happen waste all of these APCs and infantry advancing on our position. Look at that. Looks like we've even got a tank potentially advancing on this position. For Yugoslavia, boys, we will make this victory happen. All right, we've got one T-55 there, one T-55 there. Are you kidding me? We're going to send all these boys fast uh, to the south, and we're cutting off this move by the Americans. It's still, you know, two and a half minutes before we get anything resembling a napalm strike. That's too bad, but nice. That's beautiful. There we go. Come on, come on. Looks like our tank spotted him. It's not a tank, just an APC. Though that, I believe, is a tank. Come on, T-55. Get them. I like that the guy is using a machine gun there. Took a shot. That's a miss. Get another one of those 100 millimeters in there. 
boom that is an enemy apc destroyed now our tank is finally focusing on what i think is going to be enemy armor no maybe not could just be an apc once again i just want that napalm to drop beautiful kill still got enemy infantry moving in though and of course that infantry could easily take a point <clears throat> that's another reason though that we have all of these units here uh and no they're not technically anti-infantry units but they're law teams so they're actually uh anti-tank teams but they've got assault rifles they've got hand grenades and if they need to defend this location i think they can do it pretty damn well oh we got some more artillery here and this is actually quite similar, I think, to the tactics the U.S. would try is to overwhelm us with artillery and airstrikes. Uh, that, that is pretty much what they would need to do to kind of break through here. And they have done a lot of damage to us just looking around here. A lot of dead Yugoslav soldiers all over the place. Massive explosions. Uh, we didn't get out of this unscathed, that's for sure. Good shot. Wow, look at that crater. Guy just sent the guy flying out here. Keep it up, boys. Keep it up. Use any remaining munitions. I think the artillery strike is also keeping them down. There's a few shots, but yeah, they're not firing like they should be. Boom, look at that. Just devastating. He's already lost most, most of his buddies here. The law team. I'm just going to go ahead and stop him right there. I don't even want him moving anymore. There we go. Here's the napalm. A little late with the napalm, I must I must say. Uh, but hopefully it won't make much of a difference. He may not have dropped any. Doesn't look like he dropped any napalm to me. I hate the position this leopard is in right now. I know there's an enemy tank there. Oh, you see what I mean? Right through the side. We just put our leopard in a terrible, terrible position. Otherwise, we were doing great. So let me not make the same mistake with this guy. What I'm going to do is push him over here. still really nothing going on up here in the north. I'm really tempted to take the leopards we have here and move them to the south. Maybe I'll do it with this guy. They, I keep saying leopards. Sorry, guys. I'm the worst. Uh, the T-55s. So used to playing with the uh, the quote-unquote allies. So I, I usually go for the, uh, the leopard tanks. Pretty good in close range. Not so good far away, honestly. <clears throat> it is an absolute bloodbath for sure a lot of civilian casualties there would have to be in a situation like this I didn't even realize that we had a T-55 tank right through here. Um, I'll try to get him right out there on the road. Um, but I would prefer to get this scout team out there first. Let's see what happens. A lot of units retreating, but I don't think it's due to direct fire. I think it's just due to the indirect fire. Uh, the whole damn village is burning, so people are pretty much trying to just save their lives. At least that's how I see the situation. Man, they are really doing a lot of damage to these guys. 
I'm trying to see if I see any trace rounds or, or anything going across. It's definitely not that. It's, it's purely the enemy artillery here. We'll actually fast forward a little bit. See if the Americans make any sort of push there to the south. Oh, another artillery strike, and look at that. I see, I see, do my eyes deceive me, a potential American vehicle there. That looks like a tank to me. I'm going to delete all waypoints and just keep him right there on the edge of the woods. We got this other T-55, uh, excuse, yeah, T-55 coming in. Um, hopefully, he spots that enemy tank before he gets spotted. He's already seen him. He's already seen him. And it's not a tank, it's just a regular enemy APC, and I'm hoping that's all they have left. Because we have just been fighting all day here. Come on, boys. Show them not to return to the Balkans. That is a dead enemy vehicle. And that has to be all they have. Obviously, we have uh, scout teams on the way to provide some more, you know, more of a look and see what the enemy's doing. But I think we've got them. I, I don't see what else they can do for us, uh, do to us here that they haven't already done. A moment of silence for our infantry, however. They have taken a hell of a hit. And look at that. The artillery continues to come in. We got more enemy ground units spotted. Actually, quite a few enemy ground units spotted. Man, let's hope that this tank knows what he's doing. We need him more than more than ever right now. And sure enough, the mech infantry sections are here too. No wonder they were hitting this area so hard. They want to see if they can get some infantry across and uh, to that location. It's not going to happen. And that's our recon team opening fire. I don't know how much damage they can do, but already, look at that headshot. Beautiful APC destroyed. Also, the tank can decide to open fire on that thing too. But it looks like he's focusing on the tracked vehicles. More power to him. Although, look at that. Wow. Destroyed. So they did get a shot there. Didn't expect that, boys. We need more guns on that damn thing. We need to get that mecha MG squad out here. Make something happen. And let's see if we got that napalm back. No, we don't have any more napalm or any more close air support. It's just too good to be true. It's not coming, coming to us uh, this battle at least. And we'll try to get this vehicle. I think this vehicle is immobilized. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. And the passengers have actually already dismounted off that vehicle. That's not a good sign. These scouts over here in the woods. I think pretty much all we can do is just stay put right now. We've got some infantry squads. Um, rifle grenades. That's not going to go through a tank. But for our mech infantry squads, we could get something that goes through a tank. I'm not seeing that yet, though. The AT launcher, that could work. So let's just uh, delete the waypoint and just hold in the woods here. But yeah, it looks like they are burning this place up, man. Unbelievable. see a lot of movement from the enemy side still um, of course our tanks are in on the way or one of our tanks is on the way there we go let's pause it there that's definitely uh, a nice position to pause it at got quite a few vehicles getting eyes on target come on baby love that IFV 
Oh, he's already taking hits. He's already taking hits. There's got to be a tank right there for sure. Uh, I'm stopping the T-55 right there. I don't want him getting killed. Forget that. But I know for sure the enemy's got a tank right there. Right now we're just going to use um, our tank's machine gun and turret to try and waste those enemy infantry. I think that's the best thing we can do right now. Let's see if their armor will actually decide to move up here in a second. Let's stop the light machine gun team here. Just let them do their, their job. Fire a little lower, boys. Just a little bit lower. That's a whole enemy infantry squad right there. Well, I knew we were going to have to land some hits eventually. But again, it looks like that's what the Americans are down to, is just going to be standard, um, you know, infantry here. If they stay put, we just keep on letting them have it. Wait a minute, how the hell did that T-55 decide to keep on moving that fast? What in the world possessed it to do that? I have no idea, guys. Do the Americans have sort of j some sort of jamming equipment that can make your tanks go crazy? <laughs> that tank just completely lost its mind. I have no idea how that occurred. All right. Well, I think we've taken out all American armor. Um, the battle has gone on for nearly an hour here. Um, we are going to continue firing there. Why not? We might as well. Looks like we just killed an enemy vehicle somehow trying to sneak through here. Um, so we're really just on the last few uh, minutes, I think, of this battle to kind of see what the enemy is willing to do to take this position. Are they willing to go all the way and waste every single one of their troops? I'm not sure. But it looks like the M57 team is just getting consistent shots here with a semi-auto rifle. Something like a sniper. And maybe we can just keep on hitting the enemy like this, sort of hit-and-run tactics uh, to win the battle. Some more enemy artillery. They love bombing this village, that's for sure. I don't think they're going to go for Mialaka. I think they're completely focusing on Ojama, so yeah, I've brought just about everybody down here. Enemy APC right there. I'm just going to stop everybody at this point. Just delete all waypoints and let them come to us. Which I don't think they will, honestly. Oh boy, that's a tracked vehicle. That could be a tank and our law team, our law team is retreating. This is our anti-tank team. It's not the team I want retreating in this situation. I actually want them a lot closer. That's got to be a tank. Has to be. Infantry behind as well. Look at that. One, two, three infantry units. I never thought I'd be this desperate, but we're going to send these guys down too. the enemy doesn't move here in a second, uh, doesn't make any serious moves, then we'll call it a ceasefire. But there we go. Looks like their troops are getting through. We've got a uh, law team here. And they are using an assault rifle. Thankfully, they don't just have a semi-auto. They have a, actually have a proper assault rifle here. Uh, but in the woods, I don't know how effective that's going to be against the enemy. Man, look at that. Look at that. 
More enemy armor on the way. <sighs> wow. That IFV got destroyed quickly. Yeah, I definitely think the uh, the U.S. is going for the big win here. And with those vehicles, they, they very well may be able to, to get the big win. Yeah, it looks like those troops may be going to exit the woods. Not exactly too confident there. We should have saved our air support, guys. Can you imagine? Right there. Come on, let's see if the scout team can get a kill here. Oh my goodness, the scout team destroyed the enemy tank there, guys, with the law. Unbelievable rear hit on the American tank. But look at that, they've already got some infantry through. That's going to be a problem for sure. Yeah, we got a gunfight here. A serious gunfight. Come on, boys. We got some more guys on the way here. Infantry squad have them stop right there oh damn it they lost sight of the target uh i'm gonna delete that waypoint and then i'm gonna have them actually fast move into the actual building this is the yugoslav alamo right here my friends <sighs> could even send the law team there to help them out but i don't want to lose the law rocket It looks like our mech infantry are going to try to save themselves, get the hell out of there. But uh, they put up a great fight against the incoming American inf infantry units. And it looks like our law team is getting into a fight anyway. House to house fighting here. Yeah, our, that law team is, is toast for sure. We got some really nice shots there. Is that an M16? Uh, let's take a look. It's an uh, assault rifle. I'm guessing it probably is um, an M16 assault rifle. That's what it sounds like. Good work, Yugoslavs. Ambush them. Amazing job there by the mech infantry squad. They're getting the hell out of here. Our guys are getting really nice shots from this location. They're not actually technically even in a building. But that's working just fine with the light machine gun. I love it. I really hope the law team gets this hit, guys. This is what they're made for. <sighs> they didn't even see him. They didn't even see the enemy vehicle. All right, there we go. Another infantry squad. But it looks like we've got some more. Yes, some more artillery. How much artillery does the enemy have on this mission? Just endless American arty here. That's it. That team is gone. We did everything we could, brothers. At this point, I'm just going to go ahead and fast move everybody to the objective area. Anybody that can make it, of course. But no one can say our boys did not fight to the end. There we go. The battle has reached its conclusion. It's a draw. Wow. I'm actually kind of proud of myself. Um, so that's going to be the losses, guys. Pretty amazing losses on our side. But we did stop the Americans killing 22 vehicles. I don't think that's too bad. Uh, once again, if you enjoyed it, hit that like button. Drop a comment down below. Let us know what you think of Glorious Yugoslavia. And I'll catch you guys on the next Armored Brigade video.